logically say, or logically say rather, uh, to advance her forward. So I just used a female that I saw to be more comfortable at their ground with a calf that I read to be better balanced. Next two females are to my kind in terms of just working cows. There's lots of good here. This female, she keeps you in the business all, all the time. Just, she's one that's practical in her type and kind, balanced in her udder, sound at the ground, gives up some in terms of power when we look at that calf in terms of just true look and balance, but nice pair. Big stout bull calf on the cow that we conclude with. She's a little bit, probably a, I'd say in her working clothes. I love the extension. She's a lot like one of the females the young lady led to us earlier. Extra long sided, long hip, powerful kind of cattle and like the uh, performance that we see in the bull, bull calf. Nice class top to bottom. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Thank you, Judge Jeremy. In first place, entry number 217, Red Six Mile Olivia, 950E from Six Mile Ranch. In second spot, entry number 215, Red Cinder Freya, 29E from Cinder Angus. In third, entry number 216, Red Six Mile Beretta, 188E from Harvey Crest Cattle and KT Ranches. And in fourth spot, entry number 219, Red Red Rock Shuista, 743E from Dursta Farms. And our final class before our champion drive, we have our mature cow-calf pairs. We have entry number 220, Red Six Mile Fanny, 149D from Six Mile Ranch and Sunbury Valley Ranch. And entry number 221, Red TNF Cassie, 27A from Shiloh Cattle Company. The cow to my right, young man in the blue shirt, I'm just going to describe the cattle as we have them standing here. Uh, the cow is one that I describe in terms of having a wedge shape, in terms of how wide she is at her pin structure, her hip structure, and then she just wedges forward. And she doesn't get narrow at, at, by any means. She just triangulates forward. Beautiful in terms of that flat neck, really maternal look. I think she's, in terms of udder design, very, very nice in her udder design. Big stout heifer calf in front of her. I tidy that heifer her calf up ever so slightly in her navel, but love the big body, stout, dark red, just the power and performance we see in that calf. Similar calf on the female that stands right here behind her in line, and that's another one that's just really attractive from the side. This calf might actually be just a touch more attractive from the side. The cow, as you go ahead and move her around, this female, when she stops, she's a lot like the female that it's to my right, um, you know, in terms of just that same wedge look, big powerful hip gets a little it really nice and flat in her neck I change her ever so slightly in terms of drop her spine a little bit and this can co or consequently her she gets up in her spine and a little weaker in her loin and that contributes to how she handles her hind leg all the way down to the ground I think those cows are real similar in type and kind I see her the female to my left doesn't set her foot down quite as comfortably behind in consequent just because of that Young man on the, my right, you guys will be first. Gentleman in the black vest, you'll be second. Both those pairs are sure really nice. Congratulations to those exhibitors. 
So first place in our mature cow calf goes to entry number 220, Red Six Mile Fanny 149D from Six Mile Ranch and Sunbury Valley Ranch. And in second spot, entry number 221, Red TNF Cassie 27A from Shiloh Cattle Company. So making our way into our championship drive for our Grand Champion Reserve Grand Champion Red Angus Female. First place from our spring heifer calf, entry number 166, Red Cinder Freya, 29G from Cinder Angus. From our intermediate calf class, entry number 172, Red Six Mile Enid, 232G from Six Mile Ranch. First place from our seniors, entry number or senior calves, entry number 183, Red Red Rich Sierra, 89G, Red Rich Farms. From our yearlings, First place in our junior yearlings, we have entry number 200, Red Rainbow Lady Anne, 40F from Rainbow Red Angus. First place in our intermediate yearling heifers, entry number 203, Red Red Rich Fry X, 240F from Red Rich Farms. And first place in our senior yearlings, entry number 210, Red Bar MM Lacme, 47F from Bar Double M Angus. First place from our two-year-old division. Entry number 217, Red Six Mile Olivia, 950E from Six Mile Ranch and Sunbury Valley Ranch. And first place from our senior division. Entry number 220, Red Six Mile Fanny, 149D from Six Mile Ranch and Sunbury Fa Valley Ranch.
our champion female will be taking home a tub of the Sweet Pro and the banner from MNP. Chubb, are you on hand to present that banner? And our reserve taking home the banner from DRI. Thank you, Adam Shireman. out at the Long Branch and I was talking to this girl and every hound dog in the joint was sniffing around her I was playing it slow and cool being the gentleman that I am well in this grease ball with long black slick back hair it struts right up to her like I wasn't even standing there he looks her up and down and cocks his eyebrow and he says baby damn do you get in those jeans? Mercy, you looking fine. How do you get in those jeans, baby? And tell me, how do I? She looked at him and smiled and said, I thought you'd never ask. He looked at me and said, now that's how it's done, son, just like that. I wanted to be mad at him, but to tell you the truth, I was really kind of impressed. He said you might get slapped nine times out of ten, but there's always one that wants a no BS kind of man. So I walked up to the next girl I saw that wasn't wearing a dress, and I leaned in and I said, How do you get in those jeans? Mercy, you looking fine. up later in a hospital bed the half couple years ago maybe